first thing we're going to do uh, before we get into any of these optimizations, this can clear up anything that's messing with your internet. And yeah, so this is going to be the first thing. I suggest running a speed test before and after to see uh, your progress. So go ahead and type in net work reset and yep click on reset and you're just gonna go ahead and click reset now and it'll say uh, do you want to reset your internet and just click on yes and yeah so you you res yeah you just reset your internet and it'll take five minutes and then it'll restart your PC and you'll be back on so once that is done something will come up on this side of your screen and just press allow and you'll be good I'm not going to do it because I've already did it for this video. So, yeah. Now we're going to move on to step two, um, which is changing your DNS server. So, we're going to go over to your network internet access right here in the bottom right of your screen. You're going to click on that, and you're going to click on network and internet settings. So, it brings you to this page right here. This is your network and internet settings. Um... You're going to go over to the right where it says Ethernet and click on Ethernet. It should say connected up here. And you're going to go over to change adapter options. So go ahead and click on that. Now, you have your Ethernet right here. This is what it should be connected to if you are on Ethernet. And if you're not and you're on Wi Fi, then it should be on Wi Fi. So whatever you're connected to, just go ahead and right click it. And you're going to go to properties. Alright, now you're going to see one that says Internet Protocol Version 4, TCP IPv4. Make sure it's IPv4. So you're going to double click that, and what it would audit on default, it, would, it should say Obtain DNS Server Address Automatically, which is your Internet's DNS server. Your Internet has a pretty crappy DNS server, which could make you have worse internet and worse ping and it is just overall not good so you wanna go ahead and click use the following DNS server and you can type it in on your own so some popular DNS servers is 8 8 8 8 and 8.8.4.4 so that's a really good DNS server and you can go ahead and put I think the best DNS server at the moment is 1.1.1.1 1 .1 and 1.0.0.0 1 um, 1 .1. so I'm gonna go ahead and add mine to that but you can also do 1.1.1.1 1 .1 and 1.001 1 so all these three DNS servers are going to be on your screen at the moment and in the description below if you don't remember them so go ahead and press OK and then press OK again and that saved the DNS server alright guys so here we are with these three apps right here now they are basically um, they will remove things on your computer that can Port on your connection and yeah they remove a lot of files and stuff like that that can hurt your connection so um, go ahead and open Malwarebytes uh, I will add a link in the description for the page but if you just search up on Google Malwarebytes and scroll to the bottom of the page okay so open right here and we're gonna go ahead and click scan So this will uh, run through a scan and then you'll come up with, once it's done with all this, it will say quarantine these items and you'll probably have a lot if you've never done this before. So just go ahead and quarantine and exit out. And now CC Cleaner, all these will do different things. So CC Cleaner, um, I highly suggest doing. Uh, just go over here once you get it open and just click registry. And 
scan for issues and look I, I scanned this today and I already got two two issues three yep and I just scanned this this morning so th there's issues that are getting added on all the time and you can fix them if you have a poor connection that day or just reset your internet again so then just fix selected issues and you want to back up registry for more for making changes just click no and fix all selected issues right here and scan complete for malware bytes it looks like too okay close here and then you're gonna go over to adware cleaner this is also ran by Mad malware uh, another link will be in the description and you can just click scan now just like malware bytes um, but you're gonna find something different for each of these but a lot of the time uh, you'll find a lot of issues with these and they can slow down your connection that's probably about 50 percent of the time so it doesn't look like I got anything bad here everything looks good object scanned yep so everything's good here and I don't need to do anything so yeah links will be in the description for these all right, so we're back here on our desktop, and we're gonna go ahead and open up Google, and we're gonna type in I like speedtest.net, but any speed test matters. Um, it, so just go ahead and type in speedtest.net. Okay. So, yep, brought you right to this page. If not, then just make sure it's like the Ola speed test thing. So yeah, and then run it already. Now my ping is 45. Um. I'm running uh, 12, 11, 11 download speed, which is very bad. So I'm gonna do some more optimizations on this. So, yeah. Now my upload speed. Let's see where that's gonna be. Seven, eight. Usually this is up in the 20s, so that's pretty good. 10, 10 is a very good upload speed, um, from what I've heard. It's you can stream with it, so without lag so yeah that's that's what I so you gotta remember this number right here 13.96 alright so now you're gonna go into your Google search up here you're gonna type in TCP space optimizer and then yeah you got it right here and first link uh, TCP optimizer 4 just go ahead and click that and um, should be downloaded you're just gonna click show in folder and you're gonna drag the folder like this to your desktop like that but you don't want it. I already have it on there so I don't need to you go ahead and exit out of this right here and basically what it wa this wants you to do over here you're gonna remember I got 13.96 so that's gonna be a 14 for me 14 download speed um, I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this here and I can right click this and run as an administrator do you want to allow this app yes you do so Google might say this is sketchy or something but it's, it's not it's run by speedtest.net um, make sure modify all network adapters yep now this is set to 10 so I'm gonna bring this up to Four, that's 13 what was it 14 so that's about where I that's about where I'm getting on download speed so I want to go ahead and make sure that is there and you want to get that as close as you can to your download speed now we're gonna ad adjust all these settings right here so I already changed them um, make sure you have modify all network adapters on checked and you're gonna go down here and click custom now TCP window auto tuning put that on normal and windows scaling disable and this all might look different depending on what windows variation or version you're on so just copy all these make sure this up here is on 64 and then all these on this side disabled and then CTCP so just copy my settings if you need to pause the video here, um, um yeah so go ahead into the advanced settings and make sure this is set to 10 this is set to 10 
max connections per server and local priority is set to 4 host priority is set to 5 DN DNS priority is set to 6 and I can't even read that NetBT is set to 7 and max SYN is set to 2 and keep this disabled and 2000 right here and 300 up here you don't want anything right on the do not use in LA go ahead and put optimal one and disabled FFFF FF, 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 uh, yeah like seven F's and then system responsive gaming zero and yeah make sure this is disabled frequency and TCP no, de de no delay set to one and TCP delay ticks uh, set to zero network memory we're under now large system default and size default one now over here make sure that's six five five three four and make sure this is 30 and once you got all these set to exactly what I have um, and I already had these set in there before so that's why mine is already set um, and then you're gonna go back to general settings and make sure you have this as close as it is and if your network and like if your uh, anything changes with your download speed then you can always adjust it here but for now you can just apply changes and yeah just go ahead and press OK OK uh, sticking and yeah it'll say reboot so I'm just gonna ahead and go ahead and say no but yeah uh, everything has been changed keep your TCP optimizer do not delete this and yeah 